open world games are popping up more and more, and many franchises have even tailored themselves to be more like an open world game to bring in more fans. As such, you can expect a lot of these titles in 2023. Here are the best open world games coming in 2023. The game is set in the Ten Kingdoms final days in China, and you will play as a lone swordsman with many choices to make. With the lands around you now plunged in chaos and war, you'll get to choose whom to fight for. Or, if you even want to fight at all, if you do wield your sword, you'll have to go up against foes both human and supernatural, as well we elemental. Learn more attacks so you can handle all that comes your way, and carve out what the nation of China is meant to be in your eyes. <laughs> Crimson Desert is an online open-world title with various twists that might just get you try it out. You'll be set in the world of Piwal, a land that is full of dangers and is constantly changing. The people of this land struggle to get by every single day, and it's up to you and other mercenaries to try and make the land safe again. You are a mercenary in this game, and you'll take on jobs to fight monsters and villains of all types in order to save people. But you don't have to do these jobs alone, team up with others to ensure your victory. Do solemnly swear. IV. Do solemnly swear. Night City in Cyberpunk 2077 was meant to be a massive and unique metropolis for people to explore. And you could explore it, it was just a question of whether the game would allow you to play it like you were supposed to and not get a bug-filled mess. However, things are looking up for the game via the recently revealed Phantom Liberty DLC. The key thing here is that the DLC will open up a new part of Night City for you to explore, also giving you lots of new characters to interact with. So you might not be done seeing the city in all its glory just yet. Diablo 4 will meaningfully continue the lore of the series, and I hope it doesn't go and ruin everything like some previous games did. I'm putting this at the bottom of the list because while I have no doubt Diablo 4 will expand in its own way, the dungeon crawler technically lacks full open world aspects. Still, I think it would be a good game with as few microtransactions as possible. Atomic Heart is set up in an alternative 1955 timeline where the Soviet Union has advanced dramatically with new technological wonders. Players are stepping into a KGB special agent named P3, who is tasked with visiting a factory that's gone silent. To discover what's going on with this factory, players will need to venture into an area ruled by robots and oddity creatures. We've been waiting a good while for this game, and we're hopeful that Atomic Heart hits the marketplace at some point before 2023 wraps. However, as for the open world element, we're left waiting for more confirmation on how big of a map player we'll get to explore. We know that the game has sections of the factory in different areas, but just how expansive the map is for players to venture through and what all you'll do in this world remains to be seen. Funnily enough, a major monster collecting game that is also open world is coming out later this year via Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. However, if you're wanting another adventure along those lines in 2023, then the upcoming Dok V is for you. In this game, you'll go on an adventure with the interesting creatures known as the Dokibi, who actually get their strength from people's dreams. So you'll need to put the best team together in order to go on the grandest of adventures. Though there's no release date for this game, fans are still anticipating its release in a big way. Oh, 
racing games have been embracing more open world concepts for a while now, and Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is going to be one to look out for in 2023 as a result. The game intends to bank on the modern advances in technology to grant you the best experiences possible. You'll get to play the game your way in terms of how you look, the cars you drive, and how you drive them. You can focus on the championships that are out there, or you can go and just drive around Hong Kong Island in order to just hang loose. You can even bring your friends in and race with them. With a bunch of cars and places to drive, you'll definitely like this title. What would happen if the gates to the afterlife opened and an army of the undead started to lay siege to the world? You'll find out in Flintlock the Siege of Dawn, because that's exactly what happens. But not just that, you'll find out that it was some of the gods of your world that have opened this gate to try and retake the world. Now, you are part of the coalition that was formed to take back the world from the gods and undead. You'll need to use the sword, magic, and guns in order to fight them off and take back what's yours. In Small Anne, you'll take the role of a character who is quite tiny, so thus, the entire world is monstrously sized to them. But, with the giants now gone from the world, it's time to go on a journey to reclaim it for your tiny-sized people. A very unique adventure awaits you in Small Anne. Not the least of which is that you'll get to experience everything from a perspective you rarely see in games. You'll battle creatures like ants, climb monoliths from humankind, and learn what happened to the world as a whole. Void Train is definitely a unique title because it's honestly hard to define. You find yourself in a new world where the best way to get around is by a train. But to say that the tracks don't lead to the typical places would be underselling it by a large margin. The tracks go across dimensions and float on air. You'll start out with a simple trolley, and then everything else is up to you. You'll need to go and solve puzzles, get supplies, and build a better train to handle what's out there. When it comes to epic RPGs, there are a few companies out there that you can rely on in order to get the best experiences possible, and one of them is Obsidian Entertainment. Because their team behind grand RPGs like Fallout New Vegas, The Outer Worlds, and more. The game will be set in a fantasy world that has all sorts of monsters that are apparently born from the sins of an empire. You'll be able to use sword and sorcery to try and fix things, and you can bet there's a lot of quests and side quests for you to partake in. Face the monsters. Our sins have borne. Then out of the dark, you will come into the light. Easily one of the bigger problems that some fans have had with the Assassin's Creed games as of late is their massive worlds that kind of defeated the purpose of the original games in terms of them being about stealth and assassinations. If that was indeed a gripe you have then Assassin's Creed Mirage will help ease your pain a little. Because here, you'll be confirmed to one city, Baghdad, and while it will be divided into four districts, the main purpose of its size is to give you all the chance to be a true assassin once again. To use the upper and lower paths to get to where you need to and to make sure your target never sees you coming. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. One of the first AAA games to come out in 2023 is that of Forspoken, a title that has had a bit of a troubled history in terms of development, but still has the potential to be great. In the game, you'll play as a woman from New York named Fry. She suddenly gets warped from her home and into the world of Athia, a land of both magic and monsters. To try and get back home, she must use new magical abilities that she finds within herself in order to fight monsters and get back home. 
so if you're up for a magical fantasy adventure, Forspoken is for you. The Stalker franchise is actually a bit larger than you might realize, and the only reason we haven't gotten Stalker too hard of Chernobyl already is due to real-world events. As a result, the hype for this game will continue to build as time ticks towards its release, and it's aiming to be one of the most expansive versions of the franchise yet, including remolding the exclusion zone that we've been in during the last few games. You'll play as a stalker who is once again trying to make their living by what is there and trying to survive the other stalkers, as well as mutant monsters who are trying to get in your way. Похоже, пора. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачной охоты, сталкер. The original game in this franchise, Ark Survival Evolved, brought a lot of things to the table and amazed fans with how everything was handled. Ark 2 is aiming to expand that in a major way, including by making the world even bigger than it was before. In the game, you'll play as someone with no true memory of who they are and waking up to a world that is full of contradictions in terms of who and what is there. Now, you must do what you can to explore and harness this world and team up with some of its heroes to keep its people safe. There are all kinds of ways to play the open world genre, and yes, that includes throwing vampires into the game so that people can have a horrifying open world experience. In Redfall, you are part of a town which has been overrun with literal vampires. They have blotted out the sun and are attempting to remain in the human world forever. You can do the fight alone or team up with friends in order to push the vampires out of your homes and along the way, figure out why they're here and what true plans they have for Redfall need to explore or run from as fast as possible treasure deadly battles and creatures and adventure await you we've seen a lot of final fantasy games over the years and each one has their own spin on things in order to make them unique Final Fantasy XVI is arguably going to be the darkest of all the main titles, and that makes this journey into this unique world very interesting to think about. The team behind the game have noted that this title will be M-rated and feature some very mature storytelling, including a main character that is quite literally out for revenge on the ones who took a member of his family from him. Plus, he's trying to free his world from the grip of powerful crystals that people have been relying on for far too long. If you will. There is yet another Dune title on the horizon, and this one is going to be a massive MMO. Dune Awakening will put you as someone on the desert planet of Iraqis. But what you do with your place and station is up to you. You can go and try to learn more about the planet, explore the unknown regions and try to survive the sandstorms and the sandworms. Or, you can do as the movies and books note and try to wield the spice to become a power player on the universal scale. The more you do, the more you'll grow, and the more abilities you'll gain. Is my fear. I will permit it to pass over and through me. And when it has gone past... From the team that made the Arkham Trilogy comes the next great superhero classic, starring supervillains this time around. In Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you'll play as either Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, or King Shark. Their mission is simple, take out the members of the Justice League who have been brain controlled by the evil entity known as Starro. You'll go through sprawling cityscapes within the DC Comics universe in order to take them down, if you can take them down at all. Given this studio's desire to create incredible adventures, you're definitely going to want to try this one out when it arrives.
Say what you will about the Avatar movie and the franchise that is finally growing from it, but you can't deny that James Cameron did it again by making a world and creation that had a lot of imagination put into it. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is going to be an extension of that and the movie in the best of ways. Because in the game you'll be playing as your own Navi and explore the western continent of Pandora, a place we've never seen yet. You'll be tasked with various things on your adventure, so be sure to see all you can in the game. They've been teasing Starfield for literal years, and even when we thought we were going to get new information on the game, we didn't. Then they delayed the game to 2023, and now we have to wait even longer for information. The good news is that we do know that Bethesda is putting all they have into Starfield to make it a true space open world game that everyone can enjoy. We still don't know all we can do in it, but they've been teasing a revolutionary adventure, and that means something coming from them. You're gonna pay for that! It's almost ironic that the game I know so little about is at the top of this list. And that's honestly because The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was a revelation when it came out. LOZ games have never been this obvious before. Sure, it had a lot of ground in games like Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time, but it was guided, not open world. Plus, with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, you'll see an improvement in what's going on in the open world, and that probably means more content.